In this video, we'll talk about the variable section. In this part, you need to talk about the independent variable, dependent variable, and also the control variables. Uh, I will always recommend my student to do a table to represent it because it's so much easier to follow in this case. And also, uh, you also make sure yourself put down all the relevant information. So you can make a table like this and also for the variable uh, you can put down the symbol as well so like I said uh, if say uh, whenever you put down a certain variable say temperature then you can put T next to it and maybe you are trying to find out uh, the density for example or how maybe temperature affect the density so density will be rho in that case uh, for controllable, uh, if you don't want to, that's fine if you don't put symbol to it. Uh, but then I would say at least you should think of free relevant control variable. Uh, and in fact, the more uh, the better. Of course, you have to put something that is relevant. All right? So not just say something that is um, too obvious, like, oh, the same guy operating the experiment shouldn't be put here. So uh, inspiration, you can think from the framework because in the earlier session you should have deduced the formula or from other literature you should find the formula. So from the formula you should be able to see uh, many more other parameters and those very likely should be the control variable. For the description, let me show you in the next slide. So. For independent variable, uh, simply is just to put down the range of what you do and also maybe the interval as well if you want to. So let me just put down interval here. So let's say uh, for the temperature you may want to do say uh, like I said always say 20 degree to say 100 degree or maybe even lower you can actually do uh, lower than that so maybe 0 degree Celsius and maybe the interval is actually by uh, 10 degree. So in fact, you can actually list them out. So 0 degree, 10, 20, 30, etc. All right. So then people can see the exact interval that you are doing because uh, that will be much, much easier to understand later on when people try to understand and read your procedures. And of course, more importantly, you should put down the justification. Why do you do this? Why don't you do something else? And so this part should coincide with uh, what you put down earlier in the pilot study. Next thing about the dependent variable uh, should be how it is defined. It may be coming from the process data. So like the example that I gave in the previous slide, uh, if I want to find density, then of course uh, it was defined as mass over volume. So that means if you try to explain um, how is measured, you have to talk about oh, so I will measure the mass first and then measure the volume and divide them to obtain the density, something like that. For control variable, um, I can give you actual example, but then uh, the basic idea for description is you have to explain how you can maintain that variable to be constant and of course uh, those control variables should be meaningful control variable and do not promise any control variable that you cannot actively control so for example if you cannot control the air pressure then i would rather say you don't put it down or you can still include it but put it at the end of your table so that is to say you always should put the more important control variable first so then it's just intuitive when people read it they know this is the most important control variable 